Hey folks, I'm Filler B, and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. We are playing Burgundy. We are looking to be the legacy of Lothair and form Lotharingia at some point. And uh, right now we're looking to annex all these Dutch vassals so we can finish that mission up here. I kind of would prefer to keep the vassals because we are going like a big country with a vassal swarm. But... Um... To finish off the mission tree, I need to do that. I need to conquer Liege. Which is uh, this little county right here I need. And then Frisian. It's already done. Yeah, so it would be really good to get these two done. And it gives me Diplo rep. Liege, if I attacked you... I declared war, and I just took you. Who would defend you? Austria would defend you at the moment. You have a bunch of miners that I don't care about. Yeah. Would you vassalize? I asked real nice, would you vassalize? You would not because you are a free city. Yeah, I think we have to wait until we're emperor to get that one done. It's too bad. Uh, the other mission that I was thinking of is secure the lowlands here. So we need all this territory to be ours. Right now we control it all as vassals, but I need it to be um, four provinces, so I need to integrate them all. Now everybody here is ready to be vassalized, right? Annex vassal, yes. Annex vassal, yes. Annex vassal, yes. So that's four. And then you, annex vassal. We need 190. Well, now we're pretty close for East Frisia here. Um, we just need... Uh, what is that? Um, 53 more. I can get 25 from Relations. I can get 25 from a gift. And... That's 50. I only need three more. I could probably do a subsidy or something like that. Or maybe a great power uh, influence. Influence Nation could work. So we'll save up and do that. How are we doing money-wise? Uh, we could use more cash inflow. We'll work on that too. In the meantime, I'm going to keep Buddy open so I can do the gift thing soon. Um, we do have three colonies going on. One is about to finish over here. One's over there that's well on its way. And there's one over here as well. We may want to attack Arawak. Gain some more territory, but I think we'll work on that in a minute. We have coring happening all over the place. How deeply in cord are we, or whatever that's called? Uh, is that here, overextension? We're at 23%, so we could easily take a little bit more in a war if we wanted to. Um... Somebody else I would like to beat up. Could beat up you, the Algonquin. You're currently at war with the British, so it's probably not going to happen. You're at war with the British here as well. It's not good. This is Nouvelle Valonia. And I don't have the, um, the New World uh, CB, where I can just attack anybody in the New World, I have to be neighbored to them. So I think we'll just hold off on them. We could attack the British, take some more of their territory. Do we have a truce with them? It looks like we do not. We did attack them, who would come in on our side? So they would be defended by their two colonies, and then Mon, Brittany, Cleves, and Portugal. And on our side, Latinate, Spain, and Lenshut would come in. So I already outnumber them with all my vassals and myself, but if I did uh, the Palatinate, uh, Spain, and Landshut, that would be one hell of a crazy war. That would be, we would more than double them. Not more than double them, just about double them. 
Is this something I want to do? I could do the colonialism CB. Gives me less aggressive expansion for their colonies. I could take the Berkshires. Keen. And Overmountain. Let's think about that too. First I wanna I wanna deal with this um, integration thing. So let's deal with that first. Let's get some of this done. We'll deal with our um, rebels. We do have some Dutch Colombians rising up. We have Dutch separatists rising up. And some others that are just sort of on their way here. All right, let's unpause. Let the game do its thing for a little while. Are we going to do any more of this? This is 38 and now more. That's not too hard to do. It's more money than I have to spend right now, so I don't think I'm going to. We don't have a military person at the moment, which I think is okay, because I think we're ahead in military. We are. By 12 years, in fact. Are we working on a, an idea at the moment? It's been a while since I've recorded, so excuse me for not realizing what the hell's going on anymore. Offensive ideas and expansions ideas, we're working on diplomatic ideas. Getting that extra diplomat relation would be awesome. The extra diplomat would be cool. The reputation would be amazing. War score costs going down, yeah. And diplotech, yeah. And lowered impact on actions, yeah. We also get uh, tolerance of heretics go up. And national manpower modifier in the next two, which is amazing. All right, let's just unpause and let things uh, just sit here for a minute. We have uncontested claims that will expire in White Mountains and... Katakuna, so White Mountains... I gotta go like this. White Mountains is... Here? That's one. That's the other one? This one. New Hampshire. And they're both controlled by the British, so I think we'll leave it for now. The Lutso would like an alliance. I'm not sure I want to have an alliance, but we do get a new um, age-specific thing. I think we're almost tapped out here. So we have religious uh, war score costs against other religions reduced, which is cool. Blockade impact on siege has increased. That's not really our thing. Allow state edicts uh, religious enforced, including resistance to rest from reformation. Not going to do that. Mercenary discipline. We're not doing a big mercenary run right now, even though that's in our national ideas. Ship trade power propagation is probably what I'm going to choose. Institutional spread to the true faith. Ooh, that's also good. And prestige for development for missionary. Let's um, let's take a quick look. Are we working on an institution at the moment? We are not. Sixteen hundred. Global trade has not happened yet. We do have printing press. Okay, so let's. With that in mind, I'm going to not do the institution. I'm going to do the trade to get us more money. see what that does. That did give me a bit more money. I don't know why I'm suddenly losing a lot of money, but we are. It would be good to declare a war on somebody just for their... Miss Trinidad. Just for their uh, money. That's a nine stack, okay. Let's come over here. Oh, I do have you two as well. Let's have you come over here as well. Oh no, you're protecting this colony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind that. None of this is mine. No. Okay. Let's um, move the three I'm building over here. There's one more coming. Perfect. You three. Merge, get on the boat. Get the boats. I want you to land right here. 
Right here, please. Thank you. Yeah, that's a bunch of stuff done. It means we're sieging that province, that's fine. Double successful in Trinidad, doesn't matter. Now we're back to making money. You guys are here now. You are. Merge you together. And these guys will cross the thing and will absolutely annihilate them because they took a crossing penalty. No cottage industry. We can't we can't stand in the way of progress, gives me some unrest. I don't really mind. Or we get tax modifier. No. Get the permanent development. Oh, we did lose. Oh, that's crazy. We don't have a leader. We didn't have a leader. That's part of it. Alright, well, we'll refill those troops. Maybe I'll grab one more from uh, you over here. How big is this? This is only a thousand. Split you. I grab you and have you come up there. Merchants are slander. No, no. Please refill. We'll come back and beat up those uh, those people when we get a chance. We got a new colonial nation, Burgundian Colombia. I don't like that name. This is Nouvelle. Uh, I believe that's the nomenclature I'm using. I just want to take a quick look. Yep, we got Nouvelle Dijonais. Nouvelle Wallonia. How about Nouvelle Provence? Yeah. We will focus on cultivating and improving the land. They will have a higher liberty desire. And the other, they take a colony, but we're able to expand and develop faster. Private enterprise will focus on getting extra monetary value out of the land and bringing that home to the overlord. Or just a crown colony. this correctly too. Provence. Like Nouvelle Provence as a crown colony, that's fine. Hi Nouvelle Provence. Welcome. Let you guys walk over here. A righteous duke. We don't really need the legitimacy. On unrest and 25% tax increase. And I get greedy. Well, I guess we'll do that. I don't really need it, but I don't like the other things. Good, this is... Done. And I'm gonna have you head over here as well. Let your access from France? Absolutely not. East Friesland is basically there. I don't know why we're improving relations with him. Stop that. Galray is there. Let's stop improving relations with them. And outraged countries. Out of that too. This tick to ninety. Oil. Okay. Perfect. 
perfect. So there's my four. Let's see if we can get all four going and ending around the same time. Now, do I have the negative malice already on Diplo Wrap? Plus two. I don't think I do. No. Okay. So you are going to take. I write this down. The Flanders is 310. Holland is 265. El Rey is uh, 439, and East Frisia is 272. Okay, so I gotta get Gelroy down, and then Flanders, and then Holland, and then East Frisia, and then maybe I can get them all to end basically at the same time. So let's start with Gelroy. Hi, Gelroy. Get annexed. So Galray Gelray to get down to 310 from 439. I need 90 plus 39, so that's 129 points. I'm getting nine points a day, so these will go very fast. All right, let's just concentrate on getting that done. In the meantime, I'm gonna set up a couple of these to be um, allies, outraged, owned subjects. I did renew a bunch of loans, that's fine. We're voting to lose, that's okay, they can handle that. Let's go check on my uh, little army down here. How you doing? You're not quite there yet, cool. Uh, you can take a military leader, let's take uh, this one. Spain as a diplomatic succession issue. Mercantilism. I don't need the legitimacy or the prestige. I need a bunch of ducats. I need the ducats. I want to pay off these loans. They're fairly large. Probably just go to war with somebody. We're together now. You got the guy. Let's sit over here. I'm going to start unseaging this stuff. Here. Hi Rebels. This time I came prepared. And then over here. I was gonna make sure Gelray hasn't canceled. Eighty one. This will be 90 this tick. And then you come over here. I do have an unassigned merchant. And colonist. Okay, hold on. Caracas, do you have a colonist? I do. Montreal does not. I do want to continue to build up this area, so let's build up here. Can't quite reach there, eh? Can and there. That is a size 7. This is 5 with uh, Hopper. Also seems good. Uh, is this my territory here? Yeah. I 
can't go here because this is whatever. Or I could continue down this way. And do something like one of these. It's all claimed by Spain down here, so I don't really want to do that. Let's continue up in North America. Uh, this one? Set it there. We have a merchant. I go to the merchant screen. Where are my current merchants? You're pulling into the English Channel. You're pulling into the English Channel. You're pulling down into the English Channel. You should be pulling towards me. New World should be pulling towards me. Not. Spain is pulling it to here. Only 3.9 left there. Can I get you to go to the English Channel? No, but I can force you upward, maybe. I do have a bit of stuff here. Let's go into Sevilla. This could go to Bordeaux. Let's do that. Transfer trade. You. Done. Uh, let's look at you again. Okay, you're in 90. Okay. Level uprising I don't care about. You have too many diplomatic relations at the moment. That's okay. I'm going to start eliminating some of them shortly. I have one of these, like a... Yeah, Arawak is military access. I don't need that. Yeah. Arawak, where are you? Are you here? That is you. I would like to uh, end cancel military access. Okay. I think I'm going to uh, maybe build some spy network against Arawak and play a war on them. Oh, we got a bunch of population. Oh, oh, oh. I think I might be there. Me not paying attention and it going really fast. So I needed uh, 90 plus 129. So one more of these would give me 126. That's close enough. So one more month. And then we will go to Flanders. It's hopefully still feeling awesome with you. Are you? You are. Alright, Flanders, join the pot. So the next one will be uh, East Frisia. So Flanders East Frisia is 38. So that'll be uh, four months. Let's take back the person from Allies. buy a tech. We do want this tech. Excellent. This also gives us an idea. We probably want a military idea because we're ahead of time on military by quite some, quite a lot. 
Uh, Aristocratic could be good. What's the finisher on here? Leader Siege and Nobility Equilibrium. Cavalry, Development and Manpower. Cavalry, Army Tradition, more Diplomats. Justify Demands, Local Nobility, okay. Because of the Diplomat, I don't think I need this, and it's so cavalry heavy. Defensive could be really good, as could quality. And quality could be good against the British because it raises the quality of our ships, which allow us to punch above our weight. It does give me artillery combat ability and more discipline, which is also awesome. Uh, quantity should also be good, but I don't make quite enough money to do quantity. And uh, nobody should do more naval, I don't think. Defensive could also be good. It does give me... Tradition, morale of armies is really high, land leader, maneuver. I think I'm going to do quality, but let's check what this pairs up nicely with. So we get professional diplomatic core if we do quality, which gives me war exhaustion reduction and diplomatic rep. I like diplomatic rep. And uh, the other one we're working on is... Expansion. That gives me land leader fire. That's pretty good. What about quantity? Quantity gives me land force limit modifier and more diplomatic rep, as well as land force limit modifier and global settler increase. So more settlers would be cool. What about defensive? That gives me regiment cost and recovery morale speed. Yeah. And then Diplomats and Improved Relations. Okay, that's kind of weaker. What about Aristocratic? It gives me Construction Costs and Diplomatic and Army Tradition. Now, none of that is very good. But Mercenary, I'm probably not going to take Mercenary, but I just want to see. More Diplomatic Relations and Army uh, Morale Speed and Force March has no cost. Kind of useless. What about Naval? State maintenance goes down, a liberty desire from old subjects goes down. That's useful. And chance to capture enemy ships increased. Not quite as useful. If I wanted to do another type, and not that, how far behind are we? We're pretty far behind on Diplotech, so I shouldn't do a Diplo, Diplo but I could do uh, another administrative tech. Allows Force March, and we get Soldiers Households. So if I did a, um, uh, a admin idea instead, what could that be? Economics is interesting. More tax, reduced inflation, production efficiency, inflation reduction from loan repayments, and gold depletion tax goes down. We don't have any gold at the moment, but we might get some in the new world. Land maintenance modifier. Interest, more merchants, and good produced. And that teams up with diplomatic ideas to give me autonomy change and tax modifier. And does it team up with offensive ideas to give me artillery combat ability? Maybe. That does seem pretty good. Infrastructure do? State maintenance, construction. And infrastructure cost, trade center upgrade, big governing cost, port maintenance, construction time, development cost, doesn't seem wonderful. Increase move speed, meh. Artillery levels available versus fort plus two. Don't know what that means right off the bat. Is that just, because this is available, does that mean that I can have more artillery against a fort for a bonus, or do, do my artillery existing have more bonus against forts? Not sure. Diplo rep is always good in years of personal union integration reduced. Not useful because I don't have personal unions. But humanists make me more stable. You get more promoted cultures would be actually kind of useful because we could promote Dutch. does lower idea cost, gives me improved relations and 
even more promoted cultures. And offensive gives me natural unrest, and here's a separatism. Okay, what about administrative? This is advisor cost goes down, more advisors, corporation cost goes down, promote culture goes down cost. Stability cost goes down, monthly autonomy change is increased, and administrative tech cost goes down, and we get governing capacity. This is good for vassal taxation, lowers liberty to desire, and increases income for vassal. This would be really good if we want to do the overlord of many vassals idea. I think it's a great idea. And monthly autonomy change and diplomat goes up is not as good, the record keeping act. But that vassal taxation policy seems good. I really don't think I need religious in any way. I think I'm just going to leave that one. Innovative could be an interesting one. This is better if you take it earlier. Innovativeness gain is useful. Institutional embrace is useful. We're already about a third, if not halfway through the institutions. May not be good. Institutional spread, monthly war exhaustion, free policies, advisor cost. How does this team up? Advisor cost 15% and diplomatic reputation. So it's more money and more um, people like you. And then leader siege and siege ability increase is also useful. I think it's between these two, economic and administrative. If we go down the administrative uh, the side, or military side, I think it's really between uh, qualitative or quality ideas. Until I did a social science degree, quality ideas or quantity ideas, not qualitative or quantitative. Um, I am leaning towards quantity. That Diplo rep is good. The war exhaustion is useful. Land leader fire is okay. More wars or more money? I think we need more money. What are the bonuses here again? Artillery combat ability is okay. National tax modifier and autonomy change is pretty good. I think we're going to go economic. And we'll just suffer the consequences of having too much uh, mill points. Um, I needed four months and I wasn't paying attention. Well, this should be... So... 72 is 38. Uh, one more. Okay. Now I think we're going to run low on Diplo power to be able to do this. I may focus Diplo. Diplo. Um, let's go to our next person, which is East Frisia. Hi, East Frisia. Oh, you are suddenly no longer... Being good. Let's improve relations here. And we'll just have you be off. Do one more month and I'll do Holland. Instead, I Holland. Um, let's not have. Uh, let's not have you do anything. Vassal, perfect. Now are we concentrating on this? We are not. Still over. I have 12 of 10? What do I have here? I got rid of one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 11, 12. I do have 12. An alliance of Trent. Saluzzo has a moral marriage that I should probably get rid of. We're currently on getting rid of a bunch of others at the moment. The only one I can get rid of is Trent. I'm not sure I want to do because I want to be the Emperor. 
thing I can do here. I don't really have enough points. Otherwise, I could probably... How's my... Okay. Let's say, what's my um, stability? Diplomatic annexation cost would be good, because that'll reduce... Um, how much uh, diplo points I need. That's probably what I'm going to do, if we get to that point in time. How many am I making? Each year we gain five. But yeah, I don't think we'll make it in time. Um, emperorship. Yeah, right now I have it by a hair. How old are you, Ferdinand? You are 26. Ferdinand III is the emperor. I see Maria Theresa van Wagrain as the leader here. Regency for Ferdinand, but he's 26 years old. How is this a regency? I think I could sacrifice Trent. Do I want to sacrifice Trent? How much money are we make in 7.5? Check my advisors. Can I get a better advisor here? First off, what is this one doing? This is improve relations. Uh, do you happen to be half price? You half price. Say. I have, um, states. I did a mission for these. They all love me, so I should seize land, so let's do that. And, um, I did a mission for them. One of them might give me a thing. Stability 3 is not going to happen. What the bourgeoisie believe? Gain a level 3 Master of Mint at 50% cheaper. Master of Mint, I think, is the top. In foreign contacts, give me more diplo rep. And subjugate all Gongwen. Or we can reduce our loans. Well, I guess we'll do this one. We can work towards that in a minute. It might fail, because I think Algonquin may cease to exist soon. Maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, let's grab you. Let's take a leader on you. And we'll stick a leader on you. This is, uh, Sorellis. We'll stick, uh, Ulfrey Mall on here. I have Gonquin. I can declare war on you. You're on. We'll also do stuff with. And I have no diplomat, so let's get you back. You're done and ready to go. Uh, let's confirm this. I have 
you go here. Also, my Warwath. Huron. Pull up this stuff. Passing through, you're attacking somebody. You're down there, that's fine. Oh, yeah, I want uh, East Frisia. The... Oh, I can't annex at war. I made a mistake. Oh, East Frisia, I'm sorry. This war is. But anyhow, that takes us to the end of this episode. Kind of a longer one because I wasn't paying attention to the time, but we are working on annexing our vassals to get that um, pocket of lowlands or reclaim the lowlands um, CB, or not CB, mission done. And then uh, we're going to take some more North American territory. Hope to see you in the next one. Have a great day.